So trust us, we're not fishing for the dough to fund our vision. So provisions we envision have long been preordained. Just as we first saw it, you reached into your wallet and you gave. Your cash will help us manifest the grandest end result. Legally, we have to say that this is not a cult. Totally not a cult. And soon the whole wide world will be enlightened. To Those mics, reveal thyself. That was so good. That video is that the was... first. Is that the first time you've seen it, Ashley? I think so. Oh my I'm god! Just... <laughs> Ashley's like, what's happening? I'm trying to get off social media these days, so I'm like not Smart. having input. Right. But cool. I know. Yes. Honestly, it's just it's bad for your brain. Yeah. Big yeah. time. It absolutely is. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our first Thursday live stream of the campaign. Um, it's the first great debate live stream, and we're joined by Lauren Lopez and the queen of Ash Trash herself, Ashley, Lols Forever, Mamba? Mamba this? Mamba? 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 Where's Mamba your shirt? Ash? Everyone's asking where your shirt is, Ashley. Well, she's Me? wearing Moira. Oh, she, Moira she's Rose. wearing her own, her cult leader. That's the thing. This is this is my cult leader. You guys have your own, and that's like something I, I very much respect. Even cult leaders need a cult leader. That's right. That's, real. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, the theme like of today is to cults. Hope. Yeah. Who watches The Watchmen? Mm -hmm. That is real. Um, <laughs> so today we're going to be fundraising. We're going to be uh, debating some topics and we're going to be watching some clips and we're just going to be bantering and i just want to say real quick before we started i put a poll in the chat who's going to be a winner today and 58 percent of the chat said lauren oh uh, whoa 34 percent <laughs> said an egg what six okay. percent said ashley and one percent said corey so sorry corey <laughs> I really wait and you know what Fuck Wait. that! I'm not playing then. <laughs> what about what about we weren't even? Yeah, we what about those two? Now? I can only put four options in, so I no. just, you know. Okay. You're looking at a nude egg. Yeah, <laughs> you're looking at a nude egg, brother. Congrats, big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <sighs> so if you just stumbled upon this, what are you doing here? Um, that that's crazy. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, um, we're raising like a shit ton of money because it's our 10 year anniversary <laughs> and um, we have seven huge projects coming up, but we cannot do it without your help, um, which is why we are doing all these live streams uh, around our fundraising. Um, yeah, baby. Yeah. We got a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, there we go. It, it, it's going up a little bit. The goal today, we you know we're setting little internal goals for ourselves every every day or every couple days. But um, you know, as we're on a live stream today, we'd love to hit 60k. We'd love to get to that point and even go beyond. Frankly, we'd love to go beyond um, because we've got a long way to go. We've got about 24 days left, and we've got 147 thousand dollars to go. <laughs> um, and we got we got some big. You know, we got big days coming up. We got big streams coming up. But if you're out there, if you're someone who's watching Tin Can and been like, oh, my God, wait, what is this? Um, first of all, read the Kickstarter. Second of all, well, you're in the right place because uh, we can tell you. And it's to fund, like Brian said, seven projects across mm -hmm. the world. It's the most ambitious thing anyone we know has ever done. Anyone has ever done. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> we'll be yeah. honest. How does that make you feel, Lauren uh, and Ashley? It makes me feel good. You know, it makes me feel good to be in the presence of greatness, but also it makes me feel good whenever I see that number change up there. That's yeah, a it's yeah. satisfying. Mm -hmm. It's a That's little a dopamine. Hit. Good. Yeah. And one of the um, things we will but, be doing 
during the middle of these debates is doing some shout outs. So, uh, yeah, anyone who's like either becomes a new backer during the stream or increases their pledge by ten dollars if you're already an existing backer um we'll we'll shout you out um during the stream so we'll take a couple breaks to do that um but we'll be debating we'll be chatting um but should we talk about like th those seven holy missions let's do yes. it ashley you're gonna love this i can't wait i'm literally like, i'm on the edge of my please seat. ask all the questions you'll okay. be the audience surrogate so so what's going on like tell me like what are the seven Mm. Okay, so we're the Tin Cambros. Okay, yeah, who are you? Um, sure. Do we have um, handy dandy graphics yeah. to go along with them? You bet. Wow. Throw something Just up. Talk and they'll happen. Oh, shit. No, let's you go bet. the other way around. You, you throw something up and then I'll talk. Um, okay. I mean, I guess we'll just we'll just do it in this order. Whoa, that's what we're doing. Yes. So over on our Patreon for the last year, we've been developing a new uh, comedy game show called The Great Debate, which we've been piloting with uh, some of our patrons. But we are taking that offline and into the real world um, with uh, multiple live uh, game shows where we're going to invite our friends, uh, comedians, actors, hopefully you know and love, to um, debate uh, mundane uh, stuff on stage and uh you know that's that's that <laughs> and then anyone else <laughs> hang out no <laughs> yeah it's so, a it's a fun live comedy game show it'll be fun and you'll get a hint of that today nice i literally love that yeah yeah, yeah i'm yeah, sorry yeah. i'm just tweeting to make sure people know what's happening right still now tweet? I, I don't is it oh we tweet do you call it X? No. 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 Never would. No. This um, feels like a debate topic right now, actually. Because legally, yeah. it's called X. Uh, but Lauren, what's funny is when you put in Twitter.com, it still, it still um, shows up. Someone, someone named Alana McDonald said, how do I pledge money? Oh, my gosh. Well, we've got a, a link pinned in the chat, I, th I think. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, if you go we to the sure chat, do. I'm not a looking on that page, you know. We do, and it's right there, right there, right there, right, right there, right oh, there. Oh, here's the chat. Oh, I didn't. See yeah, that. everyone's figuring this out. It's very, very fun. Um, <sighs> yes, if you go to tinlightenment.com, which you know, it's if tinlightenment is a new word we made up. It's like enlightenment, but tinlightenment. It's it's religious centric. It's cult centric. So all you got to remember is tinlightenment and .com, and that'll take you exactly where you need to go. It'll take you to the Kickstarter page. And then I'll show you a whole slew of fun rewards you can get at different tiers. We've all That's done right. Kickstarters. If, and right? if it's your first time, this is a very thrilling, exciting time for you. Okay. Um, so and, and I'm going to I'm gonna be real. Um, this upcoming, it's Thursday. Next Tuesday will be approximately just less than halfway through our campaign. And we got to get to about 100,000 by then in order Whoa. to like stay on track. Oh. to be funding this season. So hopefully we have more projects to share that can get people excited uh, to give. Anything helps, Good. beginning at $3 and ranging all the way up to $10,000. <laughs> if you want, you know, in enlightenment. Yeah. I want that. Yeah, because uh, for people who are new to Kickstarter, the way it works, it's all or nothing. So um, at the end of the campaign, if everyone, if we like meet the goal, everyone's credit cards get charged and uh, we get the money, we get to do the projects. But if we don't meet the goal, uh, no one's credit card gets charged and we can't do the project. Yeah. Don't say we don't love high stakes in our work. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's um, the next project? Corey? Yeah. Yeah. What... Uh, also, just some like other. I'm seeing some people talk about Kickstarter logistics. Mm -hmm. um, when you put it, uh, when you pledge, you like it authorizes your card, but it doesn't actually charge you. It doesn't charge you. It just makes sure that like it's a valid card, and then it doesn't charge you until the campaign ends um, at the beginning of next month. Um, so if like you're waiting for a paycheck, like all that sort of stuff, all good. Pledge when you can, but also know that like you won't get charged. Uh, unless we get fully funded and only at the end of the campaign. 
Um, and pretty much any card with a Visa, MasterCard logo is good. It doesn't have to be a credit card. It can be a bank card. It could be a debit card. Um, in some other countries where they don't have um, credit cards as, as much, um, a lot of those will work. There's also like prepaid, like those prepaid, like Visa gift cards will work. There's like on, like places where you can do like uh, virtual cards online. Um, all of that stuff works, uh, just not PayPal. Yeah. And, and, you know, while many international people have backed us in the past and traveled, you know, out to LA and New York to support our shows, um, it's especially like uh, exciting this year because we're actually leaving America with the Tin Can Bros, multiple Tin Can Bros projects this year uh, for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. So not only are you, uh, do you have the opportunity to back, which we greatly appreciate, but you have the opportunity to come and see something hopefully uh, closer to home this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you and leaving America for, for good. good. <laughs> yeah, but you'll come back. Um, no, maybe. No, maybe. Oh, no. Take me with you. But if we don't, <laughs> if we don't make this goal, we're stuck here. We're st we're <laughs> never leaving. Yeah, in America, not even um, for vacation. Exactly. Well, we really do like um, steaks here. Yeah, yeah. Big steaks up the stage. Big sirloin. Um, Slot. Yeah, with all sloppy. So steaks. there's a lot of projects. We'll talk through more of them. Hopefully, there's something that you're excited about. Hopefully, it's so there's something that will be coming to you um, that you'll be able to see in person. But if you're not able to make it out in person, <clears throat> basically all the projects will have digital tickets as well so that you can watch from anywhere. Um, and several of them are coming to YouTube as, as well. Like The Great yeah. Debate, um, we're going to do these like really fun. We're going to do multiple of these shows here in L.A. We might even be able to like do some elsewhere as well on our on our travels. Mm -hmm. um but those those will end up on youtube as well at some point but there will be like in the immediate term like digital tickets as well mm -hmm. um Good love stuff. to see that counter go up yeah baby yeah mm -hmm. baby God, let's I do it a million dollars just to know what lauren's thinking right now <laughs> i would honestly a million i can't <laughs> what are you thinking what do you think no. i'm sorry i was um, Distracted just watching the chat. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Should we? I mean, we've got we've got so many more projects. We got to we got to move through these faster. Yeah. I'll go. Joey. Okay. Wanna... Um, another thing we're planning on doing this summer is we are going to go if we're funded. To, if we're funded, um, is going to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which is something <gasps> none of us have been to except for Lauren. But none Lauren. of us have been to to do like a show that we've written. It's the first time we're going to be taking Corey's a show. Been. Corey's, Corey's been, Corey's been, Corey's been, Corey's been, Corey's been, yes, yes, yes. Not as a full in adult. adult. In our full adult lives with brains <laughs> that, are, that are the I was 17, version. I was an adult. Yeah, your, brain, <laughs> your brain, you still didn't have like any grooves in your brain. It was a smooth brain. Yeah. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> smooth brain. Um, <laughs> anywho, we are going to the Edinburgh Fringe. We're hoping to go to the Edinburgh Fringe and it's because the first time that we or anyone we know has taken one of like our shows that you've seen on YouTube to another country. So it's the first time we were gonna be doing these internationally, which is really, really fun. We're taking the original cast um, and we're gonna be performing the show there, hopefully for the a month of August, which is very, very exciting. And yeah. Elise Van V said, are they ever gonna say bruh? We will say Edinburgh, but an, we have to meet the goal before we can say Edinburgh, Edinburgh. And then until then it's Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Um, I'm sorry, Edinburgh. I didn't make the rules. Um, but yes, we are, that is like a big, uh, you know, that is probably one of the biggest projects we're doing on the season in terms of like scope and scale and like time. Um, mm. But 100% will not be able to uh, do it if we can't. So, no, yes. But we'll be there for so long. You'll, there'll be plenty of time to come out and see the show and say hi. Um, exactly. and yeah, we're super psyched. And Lauren actually said, I will never set foot back in Scotland until... I'm with the Solvit Squad. <gasps> yeah. In performance. I did that. Yeah. I did mm. say that. <laughs> she doesn't make the rules. It's just the way it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you, um, Ashley, do you know about Spies of Forever? Yeah. Possibly our most uh, I well known mean, she was in it. Show. Right. Ashley was in it. You I were a it. prince. You were a prince. I was a prince. You guessed Also, you were a prince in the show. Oh, Thanks. very good. And if pickles was 
in our lives at the time, oh my god, he would have been a prince too. Like or Diane, yeah. pickles oh, or yeah. Diane. Oh, yeah. We had, we, we had two dogs uh, who were the prince on different nights. Wait a minute, yeah. Diane wasn't around for that? She was what? somewhere. She was. Diane was so hard. in our life when we oh. started doing Choose Our Destiny. Yeah. Oh my God, that was before Choose Destiny? Yeah, oh 2016. God. I'm yeah. getting so old. I can't, I can't hear that. Yeah, I was okay. 13 at the time. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> so... It's the eight-year anniversary of uh, Spies Are Forever. So we've got two big events coming up. First, in Los Angeles, uh, this spring, Spy Another Day, which is a live concert screening. Um, so it's going to be, you know, Joey, Tessa, Kurt, Lauren, Joe Walker is back. Uh, treading the boards, again, as the deadliest man alive. Myself, Mary-Kate, and then some additional guests. Um and we're going to be doing a concert version with like a screening of the show. It's going to be interactive. Um, yeah. Think like Rocky Horror, but like more like a concert with uh, people from the original yeah. cast. So think there's going to be like Los, a call and response. Yeah. Sing along. In, in, good, in little Los Angeles, you know? Yeah. yeah. Little <laughs> Los Angeles. And then, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, in September, we're going to take Spy Another Day to London. Because we're already going to be in the UK. We're going to be in Scotland. So we're just going to pop on down to London um, with anyone who uh, is in the squad who is also in uh, Spies. And uh, we're going to do another version of it, um, you know, a sing along concert screening. And it's going to be a freaking blast because Spies Are Forever is an international show and it's only ever been performed in America. So we got to get to London. We got to get to Owen's hometown. For the hometown show. And yes, Bluke. Bluke. Um, we encourage people to dress up. Mm. That would be fun. We'd love it's that. gonna be so an event. Fun. Um JB. Will this will one this be one uploaded be... to YouTuber <laughs> or will it just be the <laughs> digital ticket? Um, uh this uh... is not going to be on YouTube. This one, these will not be on YouTube because it is also essentially a live version of what it'll be like. A, it, it's it, like a it, screening. It would be like picture in picture, you know, um, of that. And so it is, it is more of a concert version. There will be digital ticket available for it, but um, not on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. It'll be like, you're watching the video and Walker will have mega in the chair and be like, I'm going to torture the living shite out of you. And then the, the, you know, we'll crossfade to black and then Walker and mega will come on stage and sing it live. Seems fun. Tula Brockett, I'm seeing, wait, Tula Brockett said, I'm seeing Olivia Rodrigo and Spies in the same year. I want to cry. Hopefully, this is the thing. Hopefully, y'all, this is this is what we're talking about. You know, there we go. We said hopefully, and then the thing, the number went up, and that's what we like to see. Um, because it is, that is the, the hard truth and reality of this, is we need to uh, hit this goal. We need to keep the momentum going, you know? So I think you said cry, and the money went up, to be perfectly honest with you. Great. Oh, it just did it again when you said good. cry. Oh, good, my. good, good. And you know what else this thing does? If we do a little bit of this, this is fun. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> yeah, it's it's alarming. No, it's just Joey's. It's just Joey's. But also, if you give it two thumbs up, I got some fireworks behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and if I throw up some peace. I think I get some confetti. Oh wait, wait. How do I do it? Make your hands do cool things. Well, do do an. I think you got to do one of these things. You get... <gasps> wow. And Did then I do, I do one. And I should just give you. A... No, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All this to be said. Um, Next yeah. up. So, anywho. We got to get debating. Yeah, we really do have to get debating. Um, next up, um, we are doing a, Ashley, a pilot reading of our new queer sci-fi comedy pilot, Intelligent Life, um, which is going to be um, fun. I mean, over the last couple of years, TCB has been uh, very deliberate about pulling back the curtain on our development process, because as you know, the development process in Hollywood takes like, 
you know, umph many years. One billion years. Yeah, multiple years. It's all, you know, locked behind, it's behind closed doors. So, you know, we want people to be involved. We want to, you know, people to come live and see it and also to create a digital ticket so people can like hear uh, great actors read the scripts out loud. And this is a project we've been marinating on a, uh, for a very long time. So for a long time, yeah. We're super psyched. It's about, um, yeah. it's about uh, these two guys who break up and one leaves the planet um, to go colonize a new planet. Uh -huh. um, and the other stows away on board, essentially. Um, and so they end up on this like other alien planet and the stowaway also has brought other stowaways who have like replaced the um some like useful scientists and experts on board and instead oh. he's brought like a dj and like a yoga influencer um and uh then they have to like figure their shit out on this like alien planet like light years away from earth oh my um, god i love that idea that's yeah. great yeah it's it's like uh the other two meets like lost meets like last man on earth sort of thing oh last man on earth was so good you guys remember that i know show? Mm -hmm. it was a great show it, it was really good so good unfortunately two of those comps are shows that did not do well but you know but what? they are very good they all <sighs> anything good that has an expiration yeah that's true ashley did you know that um Corey, Joey, myself, and Lauren wrote a musical with Clark Backstresser about some high school kids doing the Matrix musical at their high school. What? It's called This Can Be a Broadway, and it's coming at 54 <laughs> Below this uh, this fall if we can fund this Kickstarter. Um, as you can see from that photo, we'll have some members from the original cast, plus some local New York performers from Broadway and from our corner of the internet. So... We're really looking forward to revisiting uh, this show, uh, which we did our first workshop in 2021, and we haven't really touched it mm. since publicly. So super psyched to continue uh, working on this. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, the yeah. last thing, and I think this is the last thing, we, uh, you know, we also, this whole cult theme that we're doing, which will tie us really nicely into the debate, we are developing another new show with Lauren and um, our friends Allie Gordon and Angela Parrish, who wrote the song you heard at the beginning. Um, that we are going to be doing in Los Angeles, in and around Los Angeles over the course of the year. It's going to be a fun, like, kind of musical elements, a lot of comedy elements, a lot of cl clowning elements. But we're also hoping to take it to Australia. So if you're one of those Australian uh, oh, enlightened out there, um, but make sure make sure we hit this goal because then, you know, we can go. But if we if we don't hit the goal, we can't go. We can't do it. Yeah, yeah. So... That people have been is saying for years come to australia come to australia and we've said we're we trying can't, and now we're, we're trying. trying our damnedest um so anywho that is what we have coming up but right now let's get into some debates now that we're on the topic of of cults that is kind of what we're here we're, uh for um should we do some is, shout, shout outs first um yeah let's do it uh let's do it here we go um first up we have do 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 uh lily lily thank you so much lily pledged and joined right at the top of the stream so lily we love you love you lily thank you so much shout out to love lily. You, lily um we had chloe <laughs> chloe increased their pledge so thank you chloe chloe we love having you here it, it's wonderful um rachel dykes also uh, increased their pledge rachel thank you Thank you so much. We hope to come see Rachel. Rachel's in Scotland, so we hope to see wow. her. Wow. Um, which yeah. will be very fun. Um, ooh, excuse me. Uh, we have Gabby Valderrama. Thank you, Gabby Valderrama. Thank you for coming on down. Um, <laughs> we so appreciate you upping your pledge. Vivi Pico, Vivi. And it, most of you who might know Vivi as a uh, large pile of ash on Instagram. And Vivi has <gasps> drawn some absolutely incredible... Oh. Things? Absolutely incredible. Oh, yeah. Over the course of, of years. So Vivi, thank you for, for both pledging and donating your incredible art. Um, a them. A them. Absolutely a them. Uh Bailey, um, thank you so much for increasing your pledge. Love you, Bailey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um Angie, Angie Malcontenti, <laughs> which is a great last name. Um, pledged uh for the first time. Thank you so much, Angie. Praise thee. Crazy, um, Angie. We've also got Alex Ross pledging for the first time. Thank you, Alex. Welcome to the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Avery Giron. Giron. 
uh, like uh, uh, quite a French name. Thank you so much, Avery. We love you and we thank you for, for also joining. Um, and then Emma, Emma, you're coming in again. Emma, we love it. Thank you so much, Emma. Um, Lana also increased their pledge. Thank you, Lana. Love you, Lana. Rhyming with Lana, we got Brianna. Johnston, oh, a very generous oh. pledge. Thank you so much. And Ryan with Rihanna with and Lana, you go, you do it, you I'll, do it. I'll, I'll, Alana, who yes. uh, jumped in with a new pledge as well. Thank you so Praise much. Me. And then we got Bajati Mulhern, and that is a hell of an awesome name. I love you, Bajati. I've never heard the name Bajati ever, and um, um, we have been very Bajati here, so we'll start debating soon, but thank you so much, Bajati. Um, nice. And then we have Ellie. Thank you so much, Ellie, for increasing your pledge and uh, helping us make this happen. Thank you. Uh, also, Sophie Inkster um, pledged. Um, welcome, Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. Sophie! Wow. I, I What? Oh, um, beautiful. Spirit. Isa.g pledged for the first time. Thank you, Isa.g. I hope that's your legal name. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a pledge from Amaya Elizondo. Thank you. Um, all that glitters is is gold, and so are you. Absolutely. Chloe Whitmore joined. Thank you, Chloe Whitmore. Um, uh, and, and for those of you, we, we hope we uh, can, can uh, give more to Whitmore uh, for joining this. So we're giving you thanks. Uh, Bailey uh, Pledge, thank you so much for joining us, Bailey. We're so happy mm -hmm. to have you here. Bethany Hawthorne increased their pledge. Thank you, Bethany. It's so great to have you here. And Marley also increased their pledge in the last few minutes twice. So thank you so much, Marley. It's it's really wonderful. Marley, you know, we're really hoping to visit Marley in uh, in Australia. So Marley, we hope to see you there. And then uh, Lauren S. increased their pledge. Um, praise be to Lauren S. And then uh, Finty as well. Finty uh, increased their righteous pledge, which we must much appreciate. But, um, but yeah, so... For everyone in the chat right now, like keep up in those pledges. Keep like if you haven't joined in yet, jump in now. Um, it the water's fine, and uh, we'll do another round of shout outs of these uh, in a bit. We also had another oh. Emma. It's another Emma who oh. I think. So we had two Emmas, mm -hmm. two Emmas, nameless last name Emmas, and a Hannah Impossible. to increase. So love you, Hannah. Love oh, yeah. you, Emma. Let's thank debate. you to everyone. Wow, beautiful. Thank beautiful. You. We truly Whoa, appreciate look it. Look at Diane. I wasn't even um, on this. Yet. Look at that. <laughs> um, oh my God. Look at Diane. Listen, She's so <laughs> we got a debate uh, for Diane's sake. All right. Oh. Uh, which one should we do first? Um. Why not do? Should we go in order? Most. Let's do most it. Cult like thing that isn't a cult. So, in honor of gross profits, um, a seminar on you know enlightenment and financial freedom. Um, the topic for today is cults, and so we got a couple different categories questions around cults. Um, so the rules of the great debate are thus: um, each debater, each panelist, will have one minute to present their opening arguments uninterrupted. Um, after everyone has presented, there will be five minutes of open debate round, at which time. Um, we will throw it to you in the chat to let us know who won the round. Um, so, uh, yes, this first, uh, topic is most cult-like thing that is not a cult. Okay. Most cult-like thing that is not. And right. Is someone moderating? I will, I will moderate. moderate. Oh, okay. Perfect. So like like I said before, I will not be playing. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Never say Corey doesn't follow up on his threats. Mm. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, you're up first. Your time starts now. Okay, um, my most cult-like thing that isn't a cult, and I'm going to go a little general with this, but it's it's like a premier gym membership. Like anyone who's mm. ever joined like mm -hmm. a Orange Theory or anything like that, you know, like a lot of people fall off, you know, 
uh, you know, getting a gym membership, they get it. Maybe they never go. Maybe they go a few times and they fall off. But, you know, the people who stay are fanatic. You know, all they do is talk about their workouts all the time. Uh, it really becomes like the core tenant of their life. Um, I'm no, uh, you know, I'm not like disavowing a gym membership. I think it's a good thing. I just think it's a bad look when it becomes part of your personality. Uh, and I think it's a pretty slippery slope. You know, first you buy an expensive class subscription, then you get some merch, then all your friends become the type of people who are willing to wake up with you at 5 a.m. to do classes. Uh, and, you know, you might even start training to become an instructor or a coach. You know, I think those big gyms are basically MLMs. Um, and it's pretty depressing how something so helpful to your body can be so sinister. Gym mm. memberships. Mm. Mm. Time is up. Wow. All right. Uh, here we go. Next oh. up. Oh. oh. Okay. Do I just say it now? Oh, okay. Um, something that I think is culty that's not really cult as far as we know are are these golden goose shoes. Uh, uh, I'm not familiar with these. These yeah. are these shoes are six hundred dollars for Minimum. a pair, and they are the most hideous shoes I've ever seen. They literally look like someone took a pair of shoes of like a pair of Keds and threw them down the world's tallest mountain and they landed in a fucking sewer and they flushed it down a sewer with a ton of fucking human shit. And then they took a pair of shoes and handed them to you dripping fucking wet and said, that'll be $600, please. And everyone went, okay, and paid it without even thinking. So I need to understand what is going on in the depths of this company, why people feel the need to purchase these shoes that look like absolute shit. And I have to say, clowns, all of them. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is such a good catchphrase. Just to Clowns, say. all of them. <laughs> it's very last cult coded. Yeah, it was. It, it is. Was oh, it was. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, my God. All right. Uh, next up. Hi. Ooh. Hi, everyone. So here's the thing. Everyone, you know, has to drink all day long. You know, we got to be drinking water. We got to be drinking uh, all, uh, any anything we can get our hands on. But for some reason, all sorts of different water bottles, whether it's a Stanley water bottle, whether it's a hydro flask, water bottles, people are obsessed over them in ways that I don't think we even clocked that it really matters. We're fucking assessing all different types of water bottles and what's in these water bottles and the size. It's like, just fucking drink water. It doesn't matter what kind of company you belong to, whether you own this water bottle or this water bottle. It's just drink fucking water. If you have a, if you refill a plastic water bottle for six times over the course of a day, great. That sounds great. Honestly, that's the other thing. I, the reusable th part of it. It's like, I know we're trying to save the world. The world's almost over. We, we don't need to worry about this. We don't need to do straws or K cups or any of that stuff anymore. We just just drink your fucking water and don't make a whole thing out of a water bottle like uh, it's a religion. Mm. <laughs> mm. Thanks. And um, someone in the chat said this was a Stanley. It absolutely is not. This is just a random it's cup. A I bought. Generic big down cup. Yeah, it's a generic. And I bought it like two or three years ago. So. <laughs> I have the same cup, but is it also full of lead? Probably. Does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? We're all, all right. we all got limited amount of time here. Don't take me up. Don't deplatform me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And finally, uh, Ashley. Let me oh. add it. Okay. My, my most cult like thing that well, is not a cult, up. you guys, mm. it's Taylor Swift. Oh. It's oh. Taylor Swift. Let me tell you why. Oh, no. Because all the fans are out there decoding all of the little things that she does as if it's like it's written in a Bible somewhere. Like she took off her gloves at the Grammys and everybody was like, oh, why did she take off her gloves <laughs> at that moment? Does that mean that there's going to be three more years of winter? Like it doesn't make any sense why everybody's so obsessed with her. I'm sorry. She started out as relatable. I loved her relatable. But when she's trying to put awards on the heads of boy genius just for entertainment and she's shaking jack antonoff during his big moment at the grammys it is oh uh, and dragging lana del rey up on stage by the way who did not want to be there and was losing an award mm. it's just kind of like girl come back to us come back to normal 
Wow. And that's, that's that. <laughs> oh, hell wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> also, guys, a breaking news: Jack Antonoff does have shaken baby syndrome from that from that yes. thing. So, that I is know. real. That is real. He has shaken baby syndrome. Spread the word. Oh, I, didn't even say, I didn't even say Celine Dion. I didn't even say okay, Celine Dion. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so now um, we, the, the panelists will have uh, five minutes to hash it out and respond uh, mm -hmm. to uh, each other. And your time starts now. Okay. Yo, I thought this was a debate, not just a place to like dump our grievances. You know what I'm saying? Like what I'm hearing what? is like, sure, Lauren, you want a documentary about a golden goose. Uh, what? Joey... I want to know, I want to know psychologically what is going on with the masses that they feel like they should buy these dripping in shit, literally dripping in <laughs> shit. The shoes are actually soaking wet when you buy them. And I don't know why people. I think well, that's cool. I, if I could afford that, I would. I mean, but also you're talking about the one percent of the one percent, right? No, Who's buying these Brian, things. No, Brian, Brian, Brian. This is maybe... regular people who are putting all of this money into dripping wet, shit-covered yeah. shoes. Brian, are... maybe, maybe wow. it's just the it's just the 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 years of pot smoking. But I honestly do not remember what you even debated about. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I said uh, gym memberships. I think oh, yeah. it's because it's like, oh, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. If you want to make a lot of money, you don't <laughs> invest in the fancy tech firms. You invest in crude oil. You want the yeah. basic, boring shit. That's what's going to, you know, that's where, that's where it's at. Okay. Mm -hmm, Joey, mm -hmm. I'm just hearing from you that you're anti green. So you should get that. You're what? over here saying, don't use reusable straws. Don't use reusable I'm just cups. saying I'm just saying that if we actually wanted to change the world, Brian, we know oh thank you so much for putting this little scroller at the bottom. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying that if we actually want to change the world, we need to go for the companies. We don't need to go for someone who's like Hey, you know what? I need to just buy a bunch of water bottles because everyone's fucking recycling. They're all doing it. We're all Yeah, doing but recycling's it. not real. It's not real. Okay, then, then then what? I'm not supposed to I'm not supposed to buy a water bottle if I can get one. Someone at the side of the Corey, world. Corey, can you please put a picture of the golden goose shoes, the dripping wet? <laughs> shoes? Can you please put them in the chat so that people understand what the fuck I'm talking about? And also, can you put a picture of a fucking clown in there too? <laughs> the next picture. I almost got the shoes once. I almost got tricked into it. I really did. Right. No, like literally, and this is like five years ago too. It was no. like it's like being like poor is like cool to like really rich people and it's like mm. just just go to is go that what it is are they like are they yes. trying to cosplay a peasant yes oh my like like look at us yes. we will wear these shoes that like um yeah. are so dirty because we go do our jobs at the at the, <laughs> at the construction <laughs> yes. sites it's like give yes. me a it does drive me insane to see like distressed shoes that are super expensive they're when not just only just they're not just distressed they're dripping wet <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I'll show the picture. It's, okay. It is insane. She's right. Okay. Yeah. While you're pulling up that picture, yeah. I just want to say, Ashley, like, I feel like you set us up for failure here. Like, there's nothing really we can say See? bad about Taylor Swift without the Swifties coming after us and our Which campaign. Is pretty and we need to activate the Swifties to raise $200,000. <laughs> well, I think the other thing is, too, is when I, if the argument was what is something that is cult like but not actually a cult, aren't the Swifties just already a cult? a cult? Exactly. A hundred percent. Doesn't it count as they're real? They are just a cult. And and yeah, because you're saying <laughs> like it's kind of like Scientology in the way that it's like legally we can't call it a cult, but it is a cult. I mean, like mm. I fear for my life that I said the word Swifty. They're like mm. the bars. Sorry, I said uh, come at Olive me. Said, at Olive said Olive said Swifties are a cult. Full I C op. Wow. <laughs> Psyop, psyop. Psyop. Oh, I thought it was full stop, but it was misspelled. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have seen those shoes. Okay. Yes. Everyone look at Corey. Or uh, sorry, Ashley. What? Okay. What? <laughs> We're really... Oh, there we oh, go. Yeah, look at that there they are. Yeah. Look. That shit. That's like an eight hundred dollar shoe right there. They look like Pumas with yeah. a Converse star on them that have then been distressed. They yeah. also, like, they don't even look like they're good shoes for your feet. They, no. you're like, 
There's nothing there. You're slipping. If it's wet outside, you're slipping. Slipping and sliding. And they're already dripping wet. So you're, <laughs> <laughs> so you're slipping and sliding no matter what. No matter what. Listen, I don't think anyone can poke holes that like the le the most culty thing that is not a cult is people who get fancy gym memberships. Come yeah, on. Yeah. That changes people's personalities. I'm just here. I like I, I'm not hearing any arguments for your topics. But I think and I, I think, think the chat agrees with me. Sorry. Oh. Raptor really wants to, Raptor face wants to know, are they wet? Yes. <laughs> you go like They're this, wet. dripping wet. wet. Well, I think it's what we need to assess, and then we're done. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and that is time. It was the oh. most cult like thing that isn't a cold, not the most cult like thing that is dripping wet. I just want to point that um, out. Brian. So to to recap. Uh, Brian said the most cult-like thing that is in a cult is gyms. Yeah. Um, Lauren said golden goose juice. Wow. Shoes. Oh, shoes. Wow. Golden goose juice. Wow. Golden goose shoes wow. that are dripping shoes. wet. Shoes. Um, <laughs> Zoe said water bottles. It was not clear. <laughs> uh, and Ashley said <laughs> I'll say it, Swifties. Oh, okay. Um, so time time to vote in the chat. All right. Um, How do they vote? Yeah. In we'll the chat. The in the they chat. just put it, the you just type it in? I think Did Corey you? just released the poll. No, Did there's a poll in the chat. You do a, choose a destiny poll. For this? Exactly. We did. They're yes. te they're texting in. Dan's gonna text us from home, and he's oh. uh, he's been looking. He's gonna point to a big TV <laughs> screen. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. Oh getting... boy. Yeah. No. Um. Oh man. But yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. But good work, everyone. Compelling yeah. points made by some. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. This is what the great debate is. That's oh. Very um, good. should we very, give very it good. another minute? Yeah. Yeah, let's I, give it another minute. And a reminder, so y'all, this kind 50, of 5,000. This kind oh. of energy that you're seeing, this kind of stuff, imagine this live on stage for the actual great debate show talking about super stuff. We can't actually, With, you know, do this in on the screens, but we could do this in real life. Yeah. With other <laughs> like fun um Brian's with other throw fun guests. me across the stage. Because also that's something that we like talked about other on other streams too of like who do you want to see on one of these? Um, because like we're we we've been talking about like yeah, people who've been in tin can stuff, people who haven't been in tin can stuff, people who are in our sphere, people we don't even know. We're like, oh, who from like the dropout cast would you like to see? Um Ashley, do you want to go up against uh Brennan? Like yeah. fight him to the death? Yeah. Yeah, like really? literally the sky is the limit. Travis Kelsey, Aziz Ansari, Pat Oswalt. Stop uh, it. <laughs> we told that story at a, def uh, a stream recently. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah I don't, I, I did, it did not sound funny when we told it, but. Um, you had to be there. It, yeah, I you had to be there. I'm sure um, it was. Angela but, um, Giratana, um, Paul Giamatti, <laughs> why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Oscar, like soon to be Oscar award winner. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah not so real. Have... Ellis, not so real. Ellis said these are just WrestleMania, and it's true. It's like yeah. that's the perfect thing where it's like this is like us debating and, and arguing and stuff in a way that is not necessarily us like. To be clear, we yeah. we had this on on screen, but just like to verbally say it, we meant to say it beforehand. These are for comedy and enter entertainment purposes. Um, if you're on our Patreon, you know that like sometimes we do not argue points that we believe in. We argue points for the sake of comedy and sometimes for the sake of winning. Um, Polly Pocket said Clark, and I would love to see Clark get mad uh, with one of these things because Clark yeah. getting mad about things is really Ooh. funny. Um, also, I like that a couple times. Also, Cody on. said Lydia yeah. Tarr. I think Lydia oh. Tarr is a really good Lydia option. Lydia Tarr would be <laughs> iconic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt sure. Mercer, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ali yeah. Bordom. Okay. Ali <laughs> yep. Bordom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some Smash folk. Oh. Smosh? Smosh. Oh, Tony Smosh. Sanders. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, well? All right. So I think 
I think I, I think the vote is it is in. Okay. And the at thirteen percent we have. Are you going lower or are you starting yeah, from the bottom? Okay. I'm, I'm starting from the bottom. Okay. Got water bottles. Um, <laughs> then at sixteen percent of the vote we have gyms. Brian, um, with thirty one percent of the vote. It's dripping wet shoes, which means what? Swifties. Ashley, I mean, mean that honestly, that uh, that that does make sense. That does make sense. I, really, I just um, I want to thank everybody here. I just don't want to thank Celine Dion. That's the only person I don't oh. want to thank. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Listen, Jim's <laughs> Jim's was robbed. Water bottles. We didn't really do. We we tried, but we didn't try hard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's uh, yeah, um, yeah, okay. All right, <laughs> it's, voting is important, y'all. It is. Voting, voting is important. Voting is important. And if that vote um, is any indication of how November will go, life. Yeah. Um, Anywho, listen, Ashley, yeah. did it? How did that feel? Good. You know, it felt good to get it off my chest in a public forum, to be honest. I can't hide anymore. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm glad this could be a safe space for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, I really appreciate that you guys just holding space for me here. Thank you. You know, you and it. while it may suck to feel like a loser, like me, Joey, and Lauren right now, um, <laughs> if you, like a big old loser, like a big old, big old loser like Lauren, <laughs> like a big old one, um you know if if we can fund this campaign we're all going to be winners here you know why because not only are you helping to like contribute to like make these projects happen but you're also um going to receive some pretty groovy rewards do, 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 do. whoa 54 54 five. Whoa, that is a holy number. That is a real holy number. That's right. Oh, that's um, but yeah, we got some badass rewards. So check those out on our um, Kickstarter uh, because you know there's a whole narrative happening here about the t the uh, the Tin Lightman cult. Um, and while wet shoes are not one of the rewards, we got some other cool stuff. So check that out. Yes. Um, and while we're on a little break between uh, things, let's shout out some more people. So we last left off at Lauren S. Or did we leave off at Finty? Did we shout out Finty? We we shouted out Finty. Oh well, Finty, thank that, you so much. But Finty Beauty, Finty Beauty, and Finty. and right after Finty, oh. we had someone increase their Finty. pledge, and it was Brian himself, Quirrell Morts. Thank you so much, Quirrell Morts. That was Brian. Thank you so much for upping your pledge as Quirrell Morts. Then we also had um, Esty Fee. SDF, thank you so much for pledging. So happy to have you here. So happy. We love you. Um, we also have Fiona Castor. Um, sounds like that's like a cool, like a like a name from a novel. Um, it sounds like a series of novels would be written about Fiona Castor. Or like a or coffee like, house like singer-songwriter. Exactly. So thank you, Fiona. We hope your career is wonderful. Um uh, Beth, Bethy and Nels increased their pledge, and yes. Bethy, you are going to be right, written in the annals of TCB lore for your generosity. Thank you so much, Emma. Emma, uh, I don't know if this is a new Emma or there's a constant string of Emma. Really, we're great to have you. Um, Gia also pledged. Thank you so much, Gia. We're so happy to have you here. Zachary Daniel joined. Thank you, Zachary. Um, descendant of Zachariah, we appreciate it. And uh, Dana Trainer joined. I think probably joined during Brian's gym argument. So that's good to know mm -hmm. about that because Dana is a trainer. Um, yeah. At least that's what I say, Dana Trainer. So thank you, Dana Trainer. We're so happy to have you here. Um, and Jamie Cannon, uh, you are. A hundred percent. You are you are the same in every timeline, Jamie Cannon. You're Cannon. Wow. Yikes. Kai or K Y increased their pledge. Um, we're so jelly that uh, you. I, I hope everyone's else is jelly that you increased your pledge. K Y jelly. 
Anyways, oh. um, Rania Hill joined. Rania Hill, thank you so much for joining at, at, at your tier. We are so happy to have you as one of the Tin Lightened. Aiden O'Shea also joined, which is very, very exciting. Thank you, Aiden O'Shea. You joined at a really fun tier, and you got some good stuff coming your way. Um, and Allison Stuhler increased their pledge. Thank you, Allison. It's so wonderful to have you here. So wonderful to have you as part of our Tin Can fam and, and, and the Tin Lightning crew. Thank you for increasing. Um, uh, boo, 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 boo. Who else? Alyssa. Alyssa joined. Thank you so much, Alyssa. So, so appreciate it. And Tarika Chamberlain also increased their pledge by a wonderful amount. We so, so are so, so grateful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And then two more. Ellie Rose Saville. They pledged. Love a three namer. We love three names. We love seeing them all. And um, yeah, that's where we're at. That's uh, that's who increased um, or joined. Remember, if you increase by ten dollars or you join as a new backer, we're happy to have you here. So thank you. Look forward to having all. Aiden says, "Look forward to my enlightenment." We look forward to it as well. But remember, everyone, we got a long way to go. We, we got, got a long way to we go. Got a long way to go. So keep it going. Keep it. Uh, keep the momentum alive. Um, and let's do another. Let's do another little debate, shall we? Should we do one more and then we can watch a little clip? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Great. Yeah. The numbers are going up. The numbers yeah. are going up, all right? And I and mean, the anti-Swifties are, are out in full force today. Oh, yeah. That's right. Show the Swifties who's boss. And he just happened to the zeitgeist and, he, you know, he just, he did words, you know? Um, you guys, the other day I did, I, I like put my hair like this. And Lauren said I looked like Belle. You do look like <laughs> Belle. You do. Uh, oh yeah, like, I see it. She was like, "You, you do look, look like, like Belle. Belle. You look beautiful. Yes. Sorry. You think you don't look like Belle? You look like Belle. No, I do look like. You look, you like, look Belle. like Belle. Clown. We should all, all be so lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you put up a book right now, Belle. Straight Belle. Um, yeah, we got to get to 60K today, folks, because we got to stay on track because we're raising a lot of money. And honestly, it makes me a little nervous, but excited, but nervous. Um, <laughs> but excited, but also very nervous. Very nervous. Um, and also, like, thank you for being here. Um, obviously, we do these live streams because they're fun, but also just to, like, have programming around all the fundraising. Um, if you've already given... Um, Thank you for being here. You can still help us by like sharing with a friend or, you know, inviting a friend to watch the live streams with us because um, every little bit counts. And, you know, mm -hmm. we feel like uh, broken records. I feel like a broken record, but well, I just, just got to keep saying it. Gotta and, you know, it. when you're sharing and everything, always make sure you add www.tinlightman.com. Always add that link in there. You know what? It's all about it's all about making it as easy for people as possible to be like, what are we people talking about? People are lazy. You know, and so I'm lazy. You, yeah, and that's where okay. we're ending that conversation. Brian is lazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, what uh, category would you like to do next? Mm. Um, maybe, uh, what do you think, Lauren? Which Ashley? category out of the ones we sent would you um, want to do next? And then, Ashley, oh you can gosh, I don't know, I don't know any of them. I like them all. Wow. Oh wow! Um, okay, mix it up. <laughs> easy for us. Let me see here. I like the um, the loyalty. Okay, mm, best way to prove it. your loyalty to your leader. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. And like people in the chat, like comment with like your thoughts on what the best way to prove your loyalty to your leader. Um, yeah. but yeah, uh, Ashley, do you yeah. want to go first? <gasps> okay. <clears throat> Whoa, nuts. Okay, the best way to prove your loyalty to your leader is um, you have to make sure that you establish a best friend and then you have to throw your best friend under the bus all the time for the leader. Like talk mm. about them behind their back for the leader to be like, see, my best friend means nothing compared to you. Mm. So mm -hmm. that's the first. There's also a second addendum one. You have to recruit sexy people to the cult because if you do that, then the cult is more appealing to everybody because it's got a lot of sexy people in it. Because I mean, mm. I know for me, if there's a lot of hot people 
in the cult, it seems less dangerous and like not appealing. It seems like mm. a very cool, appealing thing to do with your free time. Mm. So, you know, sexy people and diss your best friend. Mm. So, mm. That's mm. my answer. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Okay. Beautiful. Interesting. Thank you. Beautiful. I don't all agree right. at all, but uh -huh. beautiful. Well, you're going to have to. It's fine. Right. And next up. Uh... Ryan. Okay. Um, it's an oldie, but a goodie. But I think the best way to prove your loyalty to your leader is to give away all your earthly values. Like, again, mm. I know it's like a little trite when it comes to cults. Uh, and yes, like having stuff isn't everything. But I do think that when your basic needs, food, lodging, et cetera, are in the hands of somebody else, that's when it can start to get really toxic. And that's when you're really saying to your leader, like, I am relinquishing my own well-being for you. And I trust you to take care of me. Um, so, yeah, just giving away all your earthly values. And I, I, I give back the rest of my time. <laughs> Wow. 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 Okay. Yeah. Bold. Wow. Um, uh, next up. I think when your leader is sitting before you and they are on a chair, or they're standing up, or they're giving a sermon, I think the best way to show them that you are loyal is to literally get on the level of their feet to kiss their feet before them. I think feet kisses, as gross as they may be to some, are the most valuable thing that a cult leader would want to feel because they want to feel that you literally would lick shit off their toes if you needed to, okay? And I think feet kisses are also kind of nice. I think Ellie in the chat said ew, and guess what? It is an ew, but it's also an ew that they want to be ewed. That you, you need to do an EU so that they will go, oh, that's what it is. That's what a foot kiss is. And that is why a cult leader wants a foot <laughs> kiss and why you should give them. Also, it could be kind of nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, and then finally, Lauren. <sighs> Hi, thank you so much for having me. Huge fan, so happy to be here. Um, I think the best way to prove your loyalty to a cult leader is classic um, firstborn child. I think you should absolutely give up your firstborn child to your cult leader. And I think there's nothing that says dedication, loyalty, love, like handing over what is most precious to you, which of course we know for all of us is our firstborn child. Um, I also think this shows that you are willing to um, keep the cult followers going by reproducing and um, providing the leader with more followers in the form of a baby. And I think that's kind of a little thing where like, if you can also, when you hand the baby over, do a little wink and be like, there's more than where that came from. And then that way you're promising them that there's more babies that will grow up to be cult leader, fo cult followers as adults. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think like, that's like what you need to do. Like it's gotta be a firstborn. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, time for the panelists to hash this out and figure out uh, the answer. Okay. Have fun. Bye. Oh. Okay. L Lauren. Aiden yeah. O'Shea in the chat said, if is giving up a firstborn child, would you give up Diane to a cult leader? Oh, oh my God, it's such a good question. Thank you so much for this. Um, thank you for having me. Huge fan. I'm so happy to be here. Um, I think it actually doesn't count because um, uh, unfortunately in this situation, we are only talking about human children, like your human firstborn. Mm -hmm. okay. Those are going to be the ones that actually follow the cult as they grow up. We all know that dogs are too smart to follow cults. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. giving a dog to a cult leader is like not really valuable to them because what they need are future cult followers. And so the promise of a firstborn, you go, that baby is going to grow up into an adult who will follow. Thank you so much. For maybe, having me. maybe Listen, though. But, but what about the wives situation? Okay. What if it becomes a wife? 
What? Full yeah, stop. Exactly. What if, what if it becomes a wife? What then? Ashley what said. What if it becomes a wife? A wife? Guys, okay. Firstborn is made into a wife with the cult. You see what I'm saying? Like, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Listen, Lauren, it's all very biblical. It's all very Judeo-Christian, which for it's not for me. I don't know. It's just not for me. I just want to also just like shine this spotlight real quick back on Ashley and say like, yours was like really specific. And I feel like maybe it touches on some personal trauma. Thank you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, the thing is, I did want to go at first. My first impulse was, you know, sexual things. But the thing is, when you when you gather sexy people, that is the ultimate that is the know, sex recruiting. Well, I can't dispute people. that. Yeah. Sexy people, of course. It's more just the throwing your friend under the bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That, that was just very hyper specific. You know, that's just come from me studying a lot of cults in my time. And like, if you really can prove also, if you're watching um, Peacock's The Traitors, you know, you get to. We haven't, but we've, we've been told to start. Do yourself a favor as soon as we're done here. Go go watch that as soon as we're done here. Okay. Anyway, that's the ultimate way to prove, like, I don't even care about loyalty to other people, only to you. Yeah, mm. it is pretty cool. Okay. Um, Joey, I feel like uh, I hate the phrase foot kiss, first of all. Yeah. That's foot why kiss. it's the perfect thing. Foot that's kiss? Why I feel- Foot kids, if it's the associate, if you associate it with a cold, that means it's obviously something something like so I think it's like it's, a kink. Seems like a kink. Like I think yeah. a lot of people would be into it. It's like yeah. I I don't know. It's not the I worst thing. Think, I don't I know. I just think loyalty doesn't always need to be cruel. Loyalty can be something that is like very nice. Loyalty mm-hmm. can be something that is like oh is that nice like, though? I don't want people near my feet. Well That's in the not, Bible, but, um they wash Jesus' feet. Thank you. Then that is the original cult, I guess. So, there you go. <laughs> wow, we seed back the next the, the two minutes. <laughs> wow, are we done here? <laughs> well, no. Well, well, we haven't no, even no, touched no. on Brian's, which again, <laughs> Brian. Shit. I think it has to. I don't know if it has to, again. If the, the the I don't know if it's just the years of of pot smoking. What was yours again, Brian? <laughs> wow, unbelievable! It's giving away all your earthly values. Oh, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. It's like I think it's just because it's so fundamental. It just goes in one ear and out the other because it's just like resonates is so true. It just resonates right through the brain, right over the smooth surface of the brain right over the smooth you know what i'm saying it's like if you don't have any earthly values like you are sacrificing everything and while sacrificing a baby is like there's like one step in between you know what i mean it's not about you and as like selfish people you know we should all be pointing towards ourselves and saying like you control me well you know if they control the baby they don't necessarily necessarily control the person who gave the baby but but that's what I'm saying. It's like you're everyone's bringing up stuff where it's like we're talking about a friend, we're talking about a baby, we're talking about earthly possessions. But if you yourself, the person, have to lean in and give that little toe a little kissy kiss, <laughs> that is you, the person doing the act. It is not like here's this thing. Of course I care about my my toaster oven. You know who gives a shit? And it's like we're talking I'm about, not talking about toaster ovens. But that's, that, that's an earthly possession. I will say, look, not I don't want Brian to win, but I will say in all cults, you do have to give up your earthly possessions also sleep. So those are the two mm. components of being a good cult follower. So he did, you know. It's pretty foundational. Historically um, accurate. Is there something fundraising related with feet kisses? Think on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Brian's is kind of broad. Is what lesbians for Lauren Lopez said. <laughs> that one, that was very Curb Your Enthusiasm, that little jingle there. Okay. Um, cool. I think it's time for the, the chat to vote. Either yeah. for Ashley with Betray Your Sexy Friend. Um, <laughs> yeah. Brian, give away your earthly values. Joey, feet kisses. And Lauren, firstborn. And you know, here we are. We are about uh, 
$111 to 55, which would be really, really great. And then we just need someone to drop in in the next 45 minutes and give a $5,000, which would be really, really special. You know, it'd be the most special thing in the entire world someone could do. Um, so yes, everyone just play with your hair for a second. Let's just play with our hair. Let's just get a little relaxed. Everyone's just doing this. Um, is anyone else absolutely freezing? This morning yeah. I was, it was like freezing. 40 degrees in my apartment. It's not in freezing. my apartment, but like my like 40. skin to touch is cold. <laughs> my pants are cold. My skin right. to touch. Yeah. My skin to touch. <laughs> my skin to touch to touch to cold. Um, so anywho, yes, um, Slothy Turtle said, this is so unhinged and it yeah. is, and that's what's fun about it. You know, part of these live streams, part of like the things we do on Kickstarter is, um, is about slowly losing your mind online <laughs> over a month. You know, that's kind of what's fun about it. It's kind of what we're here for. Um, yeah, we want to get you into like a waking dream state where you go like, hey, I gave $3. I can double that and make it $6. And that's also, cool. if you hope this, this is one of the projects. This, this is one, one of the projects. projects. This is what we'll be doing, but in person, which is so much more fun. Um, yes, um, it, it truly is. You guys, there's a little baby dancing on my bladder. Can I just, I'll just be right back. Yes. Sure. Yeah. And then can we do you want to introduce them to the what? chat? Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, we and need everyone. your money. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the firstborn conversation was was, you know, that's why you can't vote for it because it we need it your money sense. to help us employ Ashley. Yeah, so that go she piss, can girl. feed her firstborn child. Go piss girl. It all yeah, comes full circle. That is Lauren, you're muted. I just said go piss girl. <laughs> <laughs> go piss girl. Yeah, everyone's like, oh my god, a firstborn. Yeah, yeah, Ashley. And she said it's okay to talk about this. Um, um yeah. yes, call my attorney said my firstborn will be sacrificed to, to ECB. You know, that's not necessary. We would not need cash. Yeah, that's totally cool. I don't know how to monetize a baby yet. Um, Polly Pocket said, I'm imagining that gif of a baby dancing, but is it like, are you talking yeah, about that, that, yeah, the one that's that like this. PG one that's like this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was imagining, Nothing. too. Isn't that the one from Ally McBeal? Ally McBeal, I think so, yeah. Because then that's it was also a, like in a bunch from, of commercials. Why, that's from Ally McBeal? Mm -hmm. What did it do in Ally McBeal? Was it one of, did it work where she worked? I don't know. Was, well, why did you bring it understand up? what that was. Did it dance? But that's um, what it's from. Lauren, can I ask you a question? Which yeah. of these, uh, you're involved with so many TCB projects this year, and obviously yeah. you're like a tin can sister and everything. Sure. Um, which one are you like excited for today? Um, I mean, on spotlight. spotlight on Lauren. <laughs> I'm excited about all of them. And I think you have 54 what I, seconds yeah. remaining. Okay, I think the one I'm most excited for is probably either the new cult show or Solve It Squad in Edinburgh. Uh, um, Could you talk about why? What? Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, why? I love, I love why Solve It Squad. I love the Solve Squad, and um, I love Edinburgh, and I think it'd be really fun to bring. I think that would be a really good show to bring there. It was, in yeah. fact, your idea to bring it there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were the one that pressured, and you were like, "This would be a good show. You should do the show." So you know. I did. Yeah. 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 Famously, we walked out of seeing a licensed production of Solvit Squad in LA and we went, Solvit Squad is fun. And Lauren was like, we should do it in Edinburgh. Ha ha ha. Edinburgh. 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 And, and uh, say it wrong. Make them mad until they here we are. raise enough money. Here we are. That so, gets more viewers. You know. Negativity gets viewers. Mm, yeah. Becky H. Lauren, how do you think this will compare to your last Edinburgh Fringe experience? Oh? I think it will be just as fun. 
I mean, you will be with we will be we will be together, which was fun. It wasn't fun to be apart when you were last. Yeah, that was hard was being away from Jojo and Diane. Don't feed her. Don't feed her lines. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was, it wasn't fun being apart, he, was he it? Side right? me. <laughs> he I had side no one to me. with me. Um, I had no one so, to go in the bathroom or make my sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Is it time to crown our winner? Of, yes. I think uh, so. And we just and we passed just 55. <gasps> wow. wow. Beautiful. Ashley, oh, you did that by going to the bathroom. Is Thank that because you. of the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ashley, Ashley went out and immediately got on a Kickstarter and tried to plunge <laughs> to get us over. That's what Ashley was doing in the bathroom. That's right. <laughs> just, yep. just, I was contacting wow. friends who would give $5,000 wow. at a time. Oh, oh she's okay. honking. Honking okay. for 55, Diane. Oh. For Wait, okay. Let me let me try to see if she can hear me. Diane. 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 She can't hear me. Oh, she did. Diane. What did she do? Diane. <gasps> oh, she can Angel. See. Love okay. you, Diane. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> the the chat has spoken oh my goodness um, so uh with an egg 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 with uh six percent of the vote oh how the tides have turned is ashley with betrayers wow no i'm pregnant well they didn't know they didn't know at the time yeah yeah um I think sixteen percent was Brian with giveaway earthly values. That's the same as last time. <laughs> I know. Um, and then finally we have uh thirty one percent Joey with feet kisses, which means forty four percent is Lauren with like firstborn. Okay, oh, that kind of came out of nowhere. That kind of wow. came out of nowhere. Wow. Speech. Not- Speech. Speech. Speech, 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 speech. I okay, speech. thank you. Okay, I'll start. Um, <laughs> I am myself not a firstborn, but I dedicate this win to all the firstborn children of the world. Mm. Wow, thank you. Wow, beautiful. And if you're a firstborn, donate now. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a firstborn, that means you got a really good inheritance coming your way, and you should give it all to the Kickstarter. Yeah. We gotta add a little yeah. fart at the end of that. We have to add a little yeah. fart at the end of that. Um <laughs> so yeah, throw let us know in the chat if you're a firstborn. We see I see a few of them. Shout out to all the firstborns. I myself am a middle, and boy does it show. Um, <laughs> Raptor face said, feet kisses suck to do. What your kid gets taken care of for free forever sounds great to me. <laughs> Wow, free child. Wow. I, I I read that in a way that made me that made me think it had to do with being a firstborn and needing to take care of your parents when they were older. And that's how I read that. I twisted it wow. in my mind. I twisted it in my damn stupid little mind. Um, okay, so once um, once again, we do not rec we, we this is theoretical. We do yes. not require firstborns. We right. do prefer cash. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, which you can pledge now at tinlightenment.com. That is true. That is absolutely true. Um, no. So let's hit a few other people who are, who no. get some shout outs. Okay. Yeah. Some, ch- some um, shout outs. If you're just joining us now, we're raising money for on Kickstarter for our 10 year anniversary world tour full of uh, Tin Cambra's projects uh, new that you love uh, here abroad in Australia, in Edinburgh, in London, but you can watch on digital tickets, stuff coming to YouTube. We got something for everyone. Um, but only, but only if we make it to our goal. Um, so we gotta keep going. So please pledge. And anyone who pledges during this, like a new pledge during this stream or increases their pledge by at least $10, uh, we'll, we'll shout you out. Do a little shout London, out. London, Australia. Oh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Okay. First up, we have Rachel Dykes who then came back in and increased their pledge again, knowing that we're hopefully coming to Scotland. Thank you so much, Rachel. Love you. And again, Avery Giron. 
get on. We love it. Um, thank you for um, thank you for pledge. I tried to make up something with gear on. I couldn't do it. So sorry about that. Love you, Avery. Um, Gabby Valderrama also increased their pledge. This is a incredible Valderrama Rama Rama Ding Dong. Thank you so much, Gabby. Whatever, guys. I'm not even looking at any of your faces. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Okay, next up we have Rebecca. Rebecca increased their pledge. We love you, Rebecca. Uh -huh. um, uh, and then we had Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly increased their pledge. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Um, Pink Power Ranger, love it. Um, Molly Mae Crump. Molly May Crump came in here, made a pledge. We are so happy to have you on board, Molly May. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Vivi also came back. Vivi Paiku also came in again once more and up their pledge. Thank you, Vivi, for your yeah. your pledge and your art. Um, Emma Taylor came in. Emma Taylor, thank you for putting your last name, Emma Taylor, so we know what Emma you are. There's a million on here. Um, thank you so much for increasing your pledge. Natasha Barty. Thank you so much, Natasha Barty. Caitlin. Caitlin joined. We love you, Caitlin. Megan also joined. We love you, Megan. Delaney Bourgeois finally joined. Thank you so much, Delaney. Also part of the Tin Can fam. We're so happy to have you here. Um, Elliot Maxwell, they increased their pledge. We're very excited about it. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Um, Jen Schaller came in. Huge increase at the pledge. Thank you so much, Jen. Um, and Meredith also came in and increased their pledge. So thank you so much, Meredith. And thank you to Lindsay Nicholson. I think we said this on the last stream. Uh, relative of Jack Nicholson. Thank you so much. Um, Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly, without a doubt. And Jemmy, Jemmy came in. Jemmy increased their pledge. Thank you, Jemmy. Um, Tara also increased their pledge. This is wonderful. Elizabeth or Tara. Morton. Or Tara. Wow. Also increased their pledge. Thank you, Elizabeth Morton. Um, Lauren, thank you so much for being here and being a part of this debate and also increasing your pledge. Thank you, Lauren. We love you so much. Um, Annette Gates. Annette Gates, thank you. Was a relative of Bill uh, and Melinda Gates. Thank you so much. Um, and then Lynn Anouk. Lynn Anouk joined and also in... Uh... Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh. I guess I'll finish that sentence. And we also have Carla who increased their pledge. Thank you so much, Carla. And thank you to the chat for throwing out all the uh, amens and a thems. Um, this is... A celebration and it makes us very happy oh, yeah. when you pledge and raise your uh raise your pledges and if we have dead eyes it's because we are looking at our computer screens you know what i actually inside did I, there is what, joy. I, what i what i did there is i i you know i've been refreshing the the kickstarter dashboard and i accidentally refreshed the Streamyard link instead um i refreshed the wow. wrong link i needed to refresh the other one wow um my name got absolutely destroyed in the previous live stream. <laughs> Why don't you oh, have a go, funny. Ashley? Oh, I saw that, but it's way up there now. It was, I, I said it in my head. And it, it was, was correct in your head. I heard it. It was, it was correct in my head. It was Evangelia? No, there was no N. I have to go. It was, it's up. Evagelia? 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 Cool. Corey, what did you post in Discord? Was it something about like you're able to like add a pronunciation? Oh no, that's just like a pro tip for the like you can just change your display name on Kickstarter, your account name. Sometimes people will like put like some some pronunciation things in uh in their name. They'll set their name as that on Kickstarter, which is smart. Uh, unless you want to roll the dice, it's sort of fun because you never know what we're gonna say. You don't you know how many richters, so uh, so many richters over the year. So many richters. Richters. So many yeah. richters. Yeah. Um, but a few more people before we move or before we watch our clip, real quick. Let's just we we just did Lynn Anouk. Thank you so much, Lynn. Um, and then we got Carla. Carla also dropped in and increased their pledge, which is very very special. Megan Seal. Thank you, Megan Seal, for joining. And thank you, Livy Luba. <laughs> thank you, Livy mm. Luba. Much love to you all. Very, very happy to have you here on board. Okay. Did it again. Unbelievable. Joey, we just went over it, though. Wow. 
I fucking did it again. I did it this fucking same. Wow. I did the same fucking thing. I, I don't know if Lauren could hear me, but I went away and I went, I did it again. <laughs> so, so Are you guys in the same house right now? Oh, wait, Allison, we have Stuller or Stuller? Allison, mm -hmm. let me know what is it? Is it, is it Stuller or Stuller? Lauren, you're muted. Yeah. yeah Lauren. Stuller? <laughs> Short you. Stuller? St Stuller. Stuller. If you can write it out in the international phonetic alphabet. Yeah, and I I P A, please. In IPA, um, oh. that'd be fantastic. So you remember Idol Worship, right? Yeah. That was um, maybe the best thing we've ever made until all the things we're going to make this year, which are going to be really Yeah. Um, but, you know, it starred Lauren as Brenda and Ashley as Brenda. Ashley. Brenda. 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 Wow. <laughs> There I go, pronouncing names incorrectly again. Well, uh, but anyway, we just wanted to like reminisce a little bit about it because uh, um, Gross Profits, the show we're doing this year with Ali and Angela writing the music with Joey and Lauren and myself, Corey directing, is um, about cults and MLM, something we've been obsessed with for a very long time. And if you've seen Flop Stoppers, you know, that kind of touches on like how fandoms can be kind of culty. And Idol Worship is all about how like the, you know, YouTube and the whole digital landscape can be a little culty. So uh, we made we made this thing. Um, that's enough talking uh, from me. Um, let's show a clip. Yeah. I'll tell you something. <laughs> I'm in a healing mood today. <laughs> Who am I gonna heal? You. You. Brenda. <laughs> the big shirt. Yeah, the big shirt. Oh, yeah. face them. Brenda, I want you to connect to your innermost fear, the thing that keeps you up at night. I have this this recurring nightmare that mm. um that there's like a big like carnival cruise ship. Um, except it's not on the water, it's like outside my house, it's like on a residential street. And, the, and the, like all my friends are, are on it, you know, and they know that, that Carnival is my favorite cruise line. They're all having so much fun. And I'm, I come out my door and I go, oh my, oh my friend. And I, and I run after the ship and the ship just takes off. And no matter how hard I run, I can never catch up with, with my friends. Brand, I want you to close your eyes. I want everybody in this room to picture that Carnival cruise ship. All your best friends are on that Carnival cruise ship. You're gonna run in your mind toward that Carnival cruise ship. I want you to run. You run, Brandon. You run <laughs> toward that ship. You run. <laughs> you catch it. You, you catch it. Boop it. Boop it, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite man. Oh, <laughs> oh man. It's one of the funniest things we've ever done, oh, and we God. did not write it. And we that certainly did not write so it. That is so funny. Oh my that God. So Dylan funny. goes, she's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just weeping. Dylan Everyone's was so committed. <laughs> it was also like it's oh it kills God. me the shots of the crowd because again, like everyone there was like everyone there was there for the whole day and like was you know it was a long day and like everyone was so into it and just very on board from the first shot <laughs> to be like right, that's fine. And like God, all those shots of John are so funny. Just going. Um, John was so <laughs> Oh my God. So I, we should just do a rewatch of that over the next month. You know, yeah. one thing. We should just do a full re It's like 15 minutes. I yeah. forgot. I forgot that you say boop it, Branda. <laughs> I, I, I guess that was like the code that we've come up with. Well, that was a trick. That was one of the things we were teaching Diane. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How to boop it. 
I know that was, oh my God. And I have the same abs too. Do you want to see the same abs that I have in, in there? It's the same exact abs. Wow. Oh, look um, there. Wow. Lauren, oh my God. No, I wasn't know. that like a real dream you had me. Yeah. Yeah. It's loosely based <laughs> on a real dream I had. <laughs> really? Yeah. I never knew that. Back in Chicago, right? Yeah, during a during a traumatic time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, god. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so, so funny. Ooh, also, Lewis said this is pretty funny. Both types of MLMs on TCB. Mm -hmm. Um multi-level marketing schemes and men loving men. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So special. Mm. Oh man, that was a good time. What yeah, year was that? that? 20... 2017. Yeah, it was 2017. It was yeah. pre wayward. Wow. It was like earlier in the year pre wayward guide. Right. Wow. 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 And yeah. Uh, um, I feel like Clayton and uh, Brendan booked wayward guide from doing this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And mm. I think, yes, yes. Hey. Gosh. There was some fun. Derek Krantz is really funny in that. Yes. Derek Carly. Derek Krantz, it's so like, funny. They're just like like real tears in the eyes, like really yeah. watching. Just really oh committing to like our weird. Everyone just like literally showed up, and we were like, "Here, wear this shirt, and then be that, do this, be this." Yeah, like there yeah, wasn't like, like a script. There was like an outline, yeah. but there wasn't like a script. It was just. It was like this. hang out, and we might come over to you near a camera and like ask you about Ashley for a while, and like <laughs> we would just pop over to different people and just be like, "Okay, can you three just like." improvise like some stuff about this and maybe we threw out some ideas and like it was so funny because the whole thing is situated into like three sections well elise van v asked where can i see the full thing it's on our youtube channel it's on it's it's on youtube you know um we'll put the link up and we, we'll probably do some we should do a rewatch this month because it's oh it's yeah apropos and that was really made me cry and laughter that was really funny. me too but um, also the song remember clayton does the song at that oh point? my god oh, yeah yeah, the hot potatoes. Oh god. Yeah, because so we did good. like because we based it off just a bunch of stuff, Ashley, that like you had you were like you loved hot cheetos. We were like essentially <laughs> just we're like, what if we made a little we were just roasting you? I remember you came up to me one day after Choose Destiny and was like, listen, I don't want you to be offended by this, but we did write a movie about you. Can you be in it? Is that okay? And I was like, yeah. yeah, but what was it? Yeah, Brian said his Chrome, his Google Chrome. Oh yeah, um, his Chrome, um, his Chrome, his Chrome crash. Um, but yeah, but yeah. It's like three sec where it's like the first section was like everyone coming into this cult and like alert meeting a bunch of people and learning, and then yeah. the second one was like an ex it's his, it's the second act is this interview interview with Ashley oh, yeah. where like. Yeah. Me, the interviewer, starts to like realize that she's just full of shit, and then you realize that. And she there's is lots full of like shit. slow motion of like you like looking out a window and like <laughs> oh, yeah. the wind's blowing. It's like, so yeah. good. And my favorite, my favorite is there's there. I think it's a voiceover while there's like B roll of Ashley with like her voice over it, and your voice goes, "I don't feel like God all the time," you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 I don't feel like a god Blood. all the time. Oh, it's like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. so it's good. really good. It's, it's really good. And like, truly, you said okay, and then you showed up, and there was like 20 people with t shirts with your face on it, it like an enormous poster with like your face on it. Yes. Like, and yeah, you had made a mountain of hot Cheetos. Do you remember? There was like oh, a whole yes. mountain of hot Cheetos on a table, and I was like, yeah. And then I think Lily life. had like a bow that was like made out of hot Cheeto, like a wrapper. Yeah, like, yes. oh God, that's right. It was just Man. a really amazing moment where like I feel like at no point was anyone like, What are we doing? What is it? No. <laughs> yeah. The third the third was... act is like Ashley kind of holding court with everyone finally and yeah. like doing some like healing. And it was <laughs> like ever and John Norris, who who has the mustache and the curly hair, was um, like Ashley's right hand man and John was like warming the crowd up and then and like it really like it just played out like a little show um, oh, and like so we just kind of went and did it and we're like let's just do that again it god it was so fun and it turned out great and the music's yeah. great yeah. and it's just it's a, it's and a truly beautiful, it was like hey everyone uh, show up to this weird warehouse in downtown 
Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's painted white yeah. and put on the shirt. Yeah. Oh my God. Did John like go to jump out a window at one point? Yes, yeah. at one point. Yeah. At one point. <laughs> Because at one point, well, we don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen yeah, it. Yeah, don't but, spoil know. it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. But, oh, my um, God. Right. It's so but, funny. That whole thing is um, so But, yeah, we've always loved cults. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Cult. Which is why we've started our own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ashley, have you ever seen Darn Tootin? No. I'm right now. Oh, down. wow. <laughs> that's one of my other, that's, that's one of my other, favorite tcb things you should go on their youtube and just watch darn too believe you're like physically writing this down on paper Wait, <laughs> i have to or it doesn't stay here when you're pregnant nothing sticks it's well the baby's cool. taking all of it that's right yeah. i can't yeah. remember anything anymore wait darn too have i seen it i don't I'm probably not it's darn a short it's our... short it's one of our, it's similar to Idol Worship was one of our uh, submissions for Buffer Festival, the festival oh. we go to every year in Toronto. Yes. And uh, it, it's pretty, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's very aggressive because it's, oh, yeah. we, we literally shot it on a mini DV camcorder. Well, I remember the days when I came in and I did a, a little tiny sketch with you guys. It was like a job interview. Yeah. Yes. Those were the days. Like I, right yep. there. Yeah, that one's really I fun. want to rewatch those fun. Yeah. Also, Ashley, Dan's in Darn Darn Tootin. Oh, so I got it. Gotta watch it. Dan is really yeah. funny in Darn Tootin. Dan's really funny. Dan is so funny in everything. I'm going to go. Watch um, That's what I'm going to do. Uh, watch the Traders. Uh, we'll yeah. watch the Traders. We'll, we'll watch, watch the Traders. Um, um, shall we debate mm -hmm. once more? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. We're going to debate um, once more. And remember, y'all, we are about uh, 4,000. 4, <laughs> we're, we're trying to get to 60,000 today. We're trying to get to 60,000. We got a yes. lot. We, we got a ways to go. And But but we are also only 11 backers away from 800 backers, which is also really Which cool. is a holy number. So there you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're streaming for another half hour or so, but let's, uh, maybe should we debate before Brian gets back? Yeah, let's, well, let's do, um, the, the one that's <laughs> most likely to join a call. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. And so while we're debating here, remember, this is one of the new shows that's part of our, uh, to enlightenment tour Kickstarter, the great debate. Um, so this is like what you'll see more of, uh, but like all in the same room on stage in a fun, like comedy show that we're going to do, uh, several of, um, so check it out. Um, and while you're backing, we'll do another round of shout outs. So like you still have time to get a holy shout out on this stream. If you either become a new backer or increase your pledge and there's, yeah. Like, like we said before, we, we get a bunch of, we, we, we're doing a bunch of ton, a bunch of, a bunch of ton. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of ton, bunch of ton. Because like, we got so, so many projects. We've got like the great debate. That's like live comedy game show. We've got uh, Spy Another Day, which is a Spicer Forever live concert screening where we're going to screen the movie, but like with interactive elements. And then the cast is going to be like singing the songs live. We're doing uh, a live uh, reading of Intelligent Life, a queer sci-fi comedy pilot. We're gonna be. We're gonna try to do Salvat Squad at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. We're gonna do Spy Another Day, a Spice River River Live concert screening uh, in London. We're, we want to uh, go to New York and do a This Could Be on Broadway uh, concert at Fifty Four Below, and of course our new musical, uh, Gross Profits, a seminar on achieving spiritual enlightenment and financial freedom, both here and in Adelaide, Australia, next year. That's that's what's on that's the plan that's what's the hope but uh only only if we can uh hit our goal here on kickstarter hell yeah so, back today hell yeah that's David right day. and my computer absolutely crashed um, and then while i was rebooting i went to the bathroom and posted on instagram oh <laughs> perfect just um, about this because you know it's hard to reach people in the black well of the internet so that's right um lesbian for lauren lopez makes a great point gonna watch all the di digital tickets that's right we're going all over the uh, world uh and before you say like we're not going everywhere that's impossible um but we're going more places than we've ever been before 
So maybe it's someplace that'll be closer to you. But even if you can't make it out to any of those places, New York, LA, uh, Australia, Edinburgh, uh, London, um, you can still catch all of these projects via a digital ticket online from wherever you're at. And some of them are even up, end up on YouTube as well, like Gross Profits and uh, The Great Debate. That's okay. right. Okay. Um, some of the higher tiers too um, include um, yeah. uh, digital tickets and live tickets, um, the way higher yeah. tiers. But, um, but there's a lot of cool rewards that uh, will initiate you into this uh, creative undertaking led by TCB, CLUT. Um, uh, but uh, yeah. so there's like lots of really cool stuff, including there's a T-shirt that you can get, a Tim Lightman T-shirt that also will feature your personal backer number. So you want to get in early, like you want to get in under a thousand, because like three digits, like that's that's how you know like you're the truly mm -hmm. devoted. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you're gonna want to go to the bathroom again and get that number up. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, oh, oh shit. Shit. I uh, thought we were. Everyone was like, "Are we gonna go to fifty-five, five, five, five? But I, this is better. This is better. No, keep no, no, it, no, no, no. Keep it, keep it here. Keep it here. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Um, this is good. Um, real fast, Andrea. What are refined dates likely to come out about the Adelaide Fringe if all goes well? Um, yeah, at some point. The thing about Adelaide Fringe is this, if we reach the goal and are able to do it, that'll be in 2025 because actually the 2024 Fringe hasn't happened yet. So they it's don't have the like 2025 now. Fringe. Yeah, it's soon. Like it starts yeah, in soon. Weeks. It starts soon. So they don't have the 2025 dates yet. So that is uh, in the future. But um, so, Oh, we Robin are... W is backer number 182. What a good number. That's a holy number. Mm. Oh, you know, hell you yeah. Know you know why. Beautiful. Um, we're so close to 800 backers also, which is very cool. Just nine more. Mm -hmm. Nine more. And then only 44, 76 <laughs> to go. And then another 100,000. Um, should, uh, should we do a, a quick debate? Wow. Oh yeah! Well, All right, give the people what uh, they came here. Which for. which which one are we doing? I think the TCB character. Okay. Okay. See if we all so TCB the character, same character most a TCB character most likely to join a cult. Yes, that is correct. Okay, um, TCB character most likely to join a cult. Here we go. <laughs> Hi. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Huge fan. I'm so happy to be here. Um, I think the TCB character that is most likely to join a call is Miss Mrs. Mega. Um, that's Kurt's Meg, Kurt Mega's mom um, from Tin Can Brothers. I mean, from Spicer Forever, from Spicer uh -huh. Forever, um, and and I think it's because she kind of is naive. She kind of like sees the best in everything. Um, she's really um, glass half full kind of gal, so she would never kind of suspect anything. And I think she kind of just wants friends. She wants companionship, and most of all, she's really trying to scope out a wife for her, for her gay son. And, um, and so she thinks if I can, you know, I'll just join this group of people. There's a lot of nice looking ladies here and maybe I can find a nice girl for my son, you know? So I think that's kind of her in. And then before she knows that she's in too deep. You really kind of slipped into the voice right there. Oh. <laughs> well, right. I'm, a, I'm an actor. <laughs> she went, she went, wow. And then she went, maybe I'll find it for my son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. Wow. Um, hello. Um, thank you so much for having me today. Um, my no. TCB character most likely to join a cult, Lauren, is Scrags from the Solve It Squad. Oh, and that's here's why. Um, so Scrags has the spirit of a detective. You know, he's always investigating things, um, trying to see it from all angles. But he's also very stubborn. And once Scrags thinks he's right about something, you know, he's dug in 
fully and there's no changing his mind. You know, he's got this unfailing conviction. So I think if the right cult came along, I think Scraggs, you know, especially with the loss of Klubert, is looking for something to believe in. And after sniffing around and realizing that nothing is seemingly off about this cult, he's going to dig in hard. And by the time he realizes that there's something like off about it, he's going to be in denial because it's Scraggs and he's going to be in too deep. Okay, thank you so much. It's the chat turned against you. Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, well, well. All long right. enough to become the villain. All okay. right. Next, next up. Hello? Oh, hi. Um, okay. <laughs> hi, everyone. How's it going? Thank you so much for... I was just noticing in the stream that someone was like, if Joe Walker gets in, in, in a stream, people will go crazy. It's like he was here Sunday. Anywho, um, so, and I was just thinking about it going, I eh, don't not realize it. Was just... Anywho, this is the character I, you know, I was kind of going back and forth between this about who, because I think the obvious answer here is probably Keith Swanson because he's just kind of a, a fool. He's an idiot. But I think I'm going to go a little, I, I think we're gonna, I'm going to go with Vanger Borscht because I don't think we've talked about Vanger Borscht a lot. And I do think Vanger Borscht did, would absolutely join a cult, especially if it was one of the cults that Ashley described, one that was sexy and one that was filled with sexy people because Vanger Borscht is a, is a man about town. He is someone who just wants to be where the people are. He wants to roam around and like converse with people and have fun conversations with people. And so I think a cult would really foster that energy within him and he would probably just, he would just bang his way through the <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Really okay, so this is like a little meta, but the TCB character most likely to join a cult in my opinion is um the character that Brian played in um Choose Our Destiny named Brian Rosenthal. And so <laughs> I think that <laughs> Like, I feel like Brian is like a very compassionate person. And I feel like if there was a case made for like a really cool cult, I feel like he would give it like a go. I don't know if he would like necessarily join right away, but I feel like he would go to the meeting and I feel like he would hear them out. And then if there were like enough cool, sexy best friends there, then, they, mm. you know, maybe that person could join. But that's... um. That's my meta answer. Also, like, you know, cults aren't so bad. Okay, cults aren't so bad. Maybe we all need to be in a cult. Maybe we all need to find a group that we all belong in. And Brian's just our leader. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Help. Help. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wow. All right, okay. Adam. Okay, Listen, I famously don't. I don't think cults. I think cults are good until they're not good. You know what I mean? The foundation okay. of many cults are positive until someone starts to take advantage of someone else. I will say though that I've been around a lot of cults in my life. You know, UCB. I oh, yeah. and yeah. I have never yeah. once wanted to fully drink the Kool Aid. You know what I mean? I'm very much more the person of like all. Oh, dip in i'll see what it's about yeah. i'll make a couple friends but i'm not going all in no way well, what if you're thirsty you know, molly may is making a good point in the chat here like i would join a cult easily because i'm with brian i'm the same way it's like most of until the, in the cult documentary until drugs are involved cults are cool okay both are just community. And also, and and we're talking about about TCB. And we're talking about TCB characters. Listen, well, Lauren, I think you're... Mrs. Mega, what? Go on, please. I definitely think Mrs. Mega is the clear winner here. It's like she's she's literally a cult's dream. She's trusting, she's open, she's she wants to be friends with everyone, and she's looking for her wife for her gay oh, son. God. Yeah. Yeah. I think and, there's a okay. fine line between wanting to join a cult and being susceptible and being scammed. You know what I mean? Like this person doesn't even know how to fix their refrigerator. No, she would, Mrs. Mega would, would either knowingly or unknowingly join a cult because I don't even think she's thinking that it's, she's probably like, this cult's going to be different. You know, she's kind of <laughs> like, 
Okay. Uh -huh. I think she's think? so positive. Do you think she would not like call Kurt and be like, Kurt, let me tell you about this. And because he, he's like, I got to get my mom out of this. And like, no. that would cause in jeopardy. Because I do think Kurt that Vanger Borshtit doesn't have a single relative or any <laughs> friends. And so I think the fact that he's a loner makes him super susceptible to being in a cult. I think For he so is. That's so rude that you think he doesn't have a soul alive. I think he has a yeah. soul alive. I think he lives with with a couple birds. I no. think he lives with a couple <laughs> birds. I don't the way he... you presented it, though, it sounds like you Vanger wants to go to like a swingers event. You know, but not like like a swingers weekend no, at a convention no. center. That's, That's what a lot of cults no. are. And also, I think to answer your question, I think even if she did call Kurt and was like, "Listen to this great cult I joined," I think, <laughs> I think Kurt is too distracted and too. He's got too much on his mind. He's not. It's gonna go in one ear and out the other. He would go. Uh, uh, okay, he, this sounds like an issue. I'm gonna patch this through to the no, heads hires up, and they're gonna not, disband that cult. Jesus. He's not because she's gonna so focus a lot on the women there that she's scouting for him. And he's right. it, that's just going to go into his brain. He's going to be like, here's my mom again, trying to set me up with a woman. I'm not even going to listen to this. And he just kind of goes like, uh-huh, uh-huh. He's not, he checks out. So he's, he's already checked out by the time she gets to the info that it's about a cult. He's, he doesn't even care anymore. So okay. that's okay. not. I just want to say it's okay that you guys forgot mine again, but it's scrap. No, I did. So mine is scrap. And it's Dad is fully in denial for most of this Hobbit Squad show. And because of that denial, I could see Scrags getting in over his head and just having to commit. But this was brought this. up in the chat, Brian. And it's also like Scrags, a cult, uh, like a, a, a cult, demonic cult leader killed his dog. He wouldn't join a cult. Right, right. But most cults are not like, you know, hood and cloak, you know, like candlelight, like that type of, that's like a parody of like what a cult is. And in fact, the, the writers of Soviet Squad were like pretty lazy to like have like shown a cult in that way. Um, this is real, real cult, big, not all man energy. <laughs> listen. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. A real cult is more <laughs> subtle. It'll be like, hey, this is like a support group. Hey, you want to come back to my ranch where we all like hang out? Yeah. And Vanger would be like, that sounds great. <laughs> yes, I, be Vanger like, is just have, an open I vessel. To, I don't have anywhere to go over the weekend. He has no plans. <laughs> He's just like he fucking packs a fucking overnight bag and he goes, I could live off this for six months. It's like that just goes Vanger. with the wind. Yeah. Is it because at the end of the gala scene, Baron von Nazi is just like, come on, buddy. And he goes, he goes okay. Oh, okay. Oh my God, Hold on. Some everyone's getting a phone call. <laughs> oh, that's the countdown music. Okay, and what do we think um, about Brian's Ashley? What do we think about Brian? Which was Ashley's? I think I'm Brian's not a TCB character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I read, I read it wrong and I read it while we were doing it. I was like, I thought it said which TCB member, not TCB character. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate that. It really makes so sense. So I was like, when you guys started talking about not people, I was like, oh, fuck. So <laughs> Ashley's just going. And yeah. I love that you pulled out, like, choose our destiny, where you go, yeah. I don't know what happened in that. So anything you could say her. could so, be true. You, know, you just you say words. What do you yeah. think would happen if Mrs. Mega and Vanger Borscht got in a room together? Like, what would that be well, like? Vanger Borscht and Mrs. Mega would absolutely would be like, sleep with each other. No, no. What would happen is Mrs. Mega would be like, "So do you have a special lady in your life?" Like she would immediately, she'd immediately be like, "Can oh. I find this person?" We, we went up right when you yeah. when you used the Mrs. Mega voice. What, Lauren? Right when you used the Mrs. Mega voice, like we shot up. That it's true. Every time you did the voice. Oh. <clears throat> oh my god mm. oh my god <laughs> mrs mega is just all it. about mrs mega is just a true believer in the binary she just yes. is so set in the old ways yeah sienna hyde said they'd create a cult which is actually probably probably pretty true I'd watch unintentionally that. also everyone in the chat i think they already are but like they're, they're voting in the chat like uh well for, we who they think the... the what we have to do we have to go to the poll 
Let's see what the poll says. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Oh, I, I, oh, they're I, saying. I, I, the poll is in the chat. They've all seen it. You haven't seen it, but just like to verbally okay. shout it out. There is a poll in the chat right now okay. um, for who you think made the best argument for uh, the mo the TCB character most likely to join a cult. Um, so Lauren said the most likely TCB character to join a cult was Mrs. Mega. Joey said Banger borscht it. Brian said uh, Keith Swanson from the Solvent Squad. And no, I didn't. Ashley no, I didn't. Fake Brian. news. No, wait. <laughs> fake wait. news. Absolutely wait. fake <laughs> news. Sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, I forgot what you said again. What was oh, it? Wow. Benjamin Scraggs. 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 Oh we just talked God. a lot about Keith. It was Scraggs. And then Ashley said Brian Rosenthal. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the famous TCB character Brian Rosenthal. You know, yeah. character. Um, should we open the envelope? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's La La Land. Um, the, uh, we were okay. oh, oh, yeah. all together oh. for that. Yeah. We were. That's oh my special. god, that was, that was so wild. special. That was a um, it was so special. Um, okie doke. Uh, Who's going to so, help us get to 800 backers? With uh, 5%. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we we, we got to get to 800 backers before we're done, because that's like the holy number. Um, uh, if but I, with this debate, place, I swear to God. Uh, last place, 5% uh, of the vote is Brian Rosenthal. The character oh. Brian Rosenthal. But don't they know oh. it? <laughs> um, with six percent is Brian Rosenthal with the character Scrags. Wow. And then yeah. ooh, it was real close. It was real close. Forty two percent versus forty five percent. Um with forty two percent it was Bring your borscht it, which means with 45%, the winner is Mrs. Mega Lord. Speed, 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 Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who voted. And to everyone who voted for me, I agree with you. And there's been a secret I've been keeping from, from you for the past two years. And that is that my next album is coming out <laughs> in April. And it is called The Dead Poets, the fucking, what's it called? Dead the Poets Society. The yeah. Dead Poets Society. Broken. And yeah. that's. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Thank you all. Wow. Which wow. Is Beautiful. Wow, um, that was that was magnificent. Tortured Beautiful. poets department. That's right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Because it's based yeah. off that group chat. With by the way, that has hot priest in it. Really? Like, yeah, the group chat with what's his name? Al Aldwin, Joe Aldwin. Who cares? That's not hot. Wait, what? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> is that? Is See, Joe I'm too, Joe I'm Alwyn. Too, I'm too deep. Joe but Aldwin. Also Tortured Poets Department is a play on the tortured male department or so, tortured men department tortured which men is like, club yeah which is what a, a, a group chat oh. her ex-boyfriend is in with hot priest and with, the one from uh, oh yeah, with Mesco. andrew scott and paul Mesco. oh god i, I rewatched right. but it's also like they're great yeah, I agree they're so all right. great. it's very and good okay. and that priest is very hot it's that very good. oh yeah that priest is hot he's great I wow. got a question for everyone. Do you ever feel like your audience doesn't get the you? plastic bag? In the <laughs> Do you ever just feel like your audience just doesn't get you? Like they just don't get you? Yeah. I don't huh? understand what this bit is. It's all right, guys. No it's Brian. <laughs> oh, it's just because of I my poor performance in the uh, in the chat. Debates always. <laughs> in the debates always. No one gets Brian. It's okay, Brian. I might join a cult. <laughs> I should you know this won. actually pushed me over the edge I should have yeah. Won. Yeah. um come on we we just got we need three converts like there, yeah. there's got three, three, all, three people in the chat three people We're in the chat here or three sense. people well out. we still Ooh. have one more thing to say to say don't we have one more category do we want to do the we're out of time oh okay unless Bye. we want to 
<laughs> Bye. A speed, a speed <laughs> round? <laughs> we should do a speed round until we get to 800, unless someone has to leave. Okay. Well, before we go, right, I don't call the shots. I'm just throwing that out there. Well, we should do some, we should do some, uh, we'll do some last shout outs from where we are now from the last, uh, section, which we have, we have a few. Um, and oh, you know what? This is great. The first person after Livy, 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 put a, put a, uh, some pronunciation and it's Louis Leclazio. So, Louis, thank you so much. Thank you for putting the pronunciation and becoming and increasing your pledge. And Jess hey Mick, Jess Mick, a them, a them, my 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 children. Um, Jess Mick pledged. Thank you for joining, Jess Mick. Um, Kiowi, um, Kiowi, increase their pledge. Thank you, Kiowi. Um, we love you so much. Sophie Veld also increased their pledge. Um, we uh, Veld. Um, I, 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 I veld you in the palm of my hand to tell you thank you so much. Um, Holly increased their pledge. Thank you so much, Holly. Sam Kennedy increased their pledge. Big ol' increasing. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Gabby Valderrama also, <laughs> also increased their pledge. Thank you so much, Gabby. Thank you so much. I'm so glad we got to shout you out multiple times. Um, Taylor Thornton, Thornton joined. And became a new disciple, which is very, very exciting. Um, thank you so much. Bel Canto Canbelto. Um, they also joined and became a backer. So thank you so much. We appreciate that. We love you. Um, Avery Guion, you did it. You increased your pledge again. And we're so happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ella also pledged. Thank you. The Cowardly Crow increased their pledge. Thank you. you it was very brave of you. I said that last time. <laughs> um, Cabrini joined. Thank you, Cabrini. Uh, uh, and Aaron Hildred. We love you, Aaron Hildred. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Taz Elliott. Thank you, Taz Elliott, for joining and pledging. Um, we so, so appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um, Megan Ivy joined. Thank you, Megan Ivy. You're the best. That's funny. And Olivia joined. Thank you, Olivia. And Elizabeth Morton. Thank you, Elizabeth Morton. You increased your pledge as well. And oh, and did we have more people? Did we have more people to join or just oh. Grace oh, oh. pledged? Did we do oh. it? Grace, we one. which is very exciting. Uh, Maitland Vastag. Um, oh, I shouldn't have said that one because. It wasn't the it wasn't the amount it needed. Uh, Kara Langworthy, thank you so much for increasing your pledge, Caitlin. Sorry, uh, and Colleen, thank you so much, Colleen, for joining this the thing that we're doing. Um, oh my God. Um, bro, bro, bro. Okay, now we need one more backer to pledge. Oh my God! Hey, if you get a T-shirt, you could get backer number eight hundred on your T-shirt, which know. is pretty cool. That's one in cool. once in a lifetime. And we'll all remember because it is because it's also a holy number. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, we need one more person. Eight hundred is holy. Oh my god! Oh. 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 Who was it? Who was it? Let's find out who it was. Let us find out who it was. Um. Wow, that was magical. Yeah. Um, I think it was it was a combination of Lynn increasing their pledge. Thank you so much, Lynn, and Emily Fable. Thank you so much, Emily. Fable. I think actually the new black backer was Emily Fable. So Emily, Fable, Emily. Your number yeah. number eight hundred one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank so you. remember, y'all, what uh, what were we saying? What were we saying? <laughs> oh, um, what the if you became a new backer or if you increased your backer backing backing pledge by ten dollars, um, that's what gets you the little shout out. So uh sorry if you're like, what the hell? Um, you know, that's that's where we're we're creating a threshold, you know, and and also FYI, like if you add on to your pledge to increase at, after the campaign when you fill out your reward survey. Um, you'll be able to like redeem that like extra extra money above like the pledge level for things like uh, like extra pins or like add-on rewards or apply towards shipping. Mm -hmm. Like you'll be able to like redeem that for other things in addition to the shout out during the stream. So yeah, double yeah. dip, baby. Yeah. 
Um, and we're also 60 bucks away from 56. We just still 4,000 short from our goal for today, but okay. what are you going to do about it? Oh um, my God. That's all right. This wow. is what I, what I do. Thank you to everyone who, who pledged and or upped really. their pledge. That really. was amazing. Hey, yes, this was a really fun stream. Really. It was really fun. It was fun to, um, it was fun to shout out people. It was fun to like be a part, be with this chat with this little crew here. It was like, you all yeah. are wonderful. Everyone who is watching and enjoying, thank you so much. And thank you for the 800 people. Oh, oh my gosh. Who did it? Oh, oh, my oh, oh, Let's find out yeah. who did it. Yeah. And that was Jen Schaller. Thank you so much, Jen. Thanks, Jen. Jen. Thank you so much, Jen. Look at look how nice that looks. Look at that. 5,600, oh. 822. Those. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are Take a all screenshot. Holy number. Take a screenshot. It has to go up immediately. Because we've oh got God. a lot more. Holly Pocket there. makes a good point. 800 is a holy number because it has four holes. Famously. <laughs> oh my God, it does have four holes. I do love that. That's the clip out. Oh my God, it has four holes. Oh my God, 800 has four holes. Um, we're going to be back at it on Sunday with another uh, Sunday sermon live stream, which is a four hour live stream. I know Lauren and Ashley, you're like, I wish I could be on this thing for four hours with you guys. You're my best friends. But you know what? Come back. We're doing this every Thursday and Sunday. So Sunday, um, we're having um, some, this could be on Broadway folks on the Sunday stream. We're having um, uh, the uh, Gross, Profit. music, Gross Profits uh, and Angela and Allie. So it's going to be a great time. We're going to play games. We're going to watch clips. Um, and we're going to raise some funds. We're going to do some shout outs. Um, it's going to be great. Yeah, this is an absolute blast. Um, and we got to, we got to do better. <laughs> it's like, we, it's both. Th thank you so much, but you know, we got a long way to go. Um, we got 22 days, 23, technically. I think that's like, it's like that thing where you're like, it's like, it's yeah. rounding down, but that last 24 hours, I think counts as like two days. It's one of those things where we essentially have 23 days. Yeah. Great. If you've ever back, you know, if you've ever supported Tin Can Brothers in the past, which I assume most of you have, like, we appreciate it. Any bit it really helps, like, make us make this happen. Like, as in, independent creators, we really like. It, it, there's no middleman. It's really like the direct to consumer model. It happens because of you supporting these projects. Like, um, it's yeah. uh, without your support, it like just actually can't won't happen. It can't yeah. happen. So if you like what we've done and you want to see more of it, uh, you know, this is our PBS pledge drive. Uh, you gotta, gotta pledge for the YouTube you want to see in the world. Um, a few quick we, questions. Andy said that. A few quick questions before the end um, that I'm seeing. Uh, Bajati asked, what time is the Sunday stream? I believe it's at 11 again? Yes, 11? I think it's, every... It's on, I'll, I'll put the link in the chat, but you can like bookmark it and notify you. It it already like the event already exists. The event exists, and you can find on our it on YouTube, YouTube page, channel, which is pretty cool. Um, and then Lauren Herb asked, "What kind of add-ons are you planning on? And do you think putting them up for grabs during the campaign would help the total go up faster? Add-ons will be something that will, will will be added to the campaign in the in the final weeks at, at towards the end. Yeah, yeah. So those will those will appear, and those will be there." Um, which is great, and you know we got some fun ideas for stuff. But, you know, it'll be, it'll be cool. We gotta, but this this is we're we're in that section, middle section of the campaign where like we're slowing it down a bit, but like we can't afford to. We gotta keep uh keep moving this along. So thanks for joining us, and like be sure to uh yeah keep posting about it. Tell your friends uh yeah like yeah get those like sleeper TCB fans like grab them and shake them and wake them up yeah. You know, and tell yeah. them tell them exactly what Bluke said, which is we need about six thousand five hundred and forty five dollars and forty five cents a day. That is what you need to say to them. That will uh, not freak anyone out. Yeah, and we love we love when people pledge the higher tiers, and we are really psyched about like all of the rewards and all of the tiers. Um, but you know, truly, we would like to just reach more people. Even more people at the lower tiers is really what we're going for. You know, we don't want anyone to like uh, hurt themselves financially. Like, only give what you can. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank Should we you. end with the prayer? 
Yeah, sure. But first of all, thank you to our guests. Thank you oh, to yeah. Lauren and Ashley and oh. Ashley's Ashley's baby. All yeah. of you to our guests um, for being yes. here. Oh my God. Um, this was really fun. This was fun arguing with you both. You're great. And you. um, I miss doing Choose Our Destiny with both of you. I know. That was a really good time. Me too. Yeah. Maybe a uh, stretch goal if we can get mm. to $300,000. Oh my God. $1, yeah, we don't need to think about stretch goals at this point. <laughs> um, but, uh, but anywho, um, this was wonderful. And thank you okay. all to, to everyone who joined today. Clasp your hands in prayer. Um, um, to to all the 800 people who are here who've got us this far we love you thank you so much um to our debate losers we appreciate you uh contributing your thoughts to our debate winners um winning is a fleeting thing um and it, it, you'll one day become a loser as well um and to uh everyone uh a them a them TCB with you. Beautiful. Oh, and also, and also with, with you, you. Brother also Joey, with you. Brother Ashley, Brother Lauren, Brother Corey, Brother, Corey, brother, brother Ryan, Chat. Brother Here's to Chad. you, 800 backers, and to the next 800. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Bye. Oh, wow. Bye. So trust us, we're not fishing for the dough. To fund our vision, the provisions we envision have long been preordained. Just as we first saw it, you reached into your wallet and you gave. Yeah, you gave. Your cash well must manifest the grandstand result. Legally, we have to say that this is not a cult. Totally not a cult. And soon the whole wide world will be 